What's up guys, welcome back. It is currently Christmas day and uh, I've made a quick trip into the shop. Thank you family for forgiving me for this. Quick trip into the shop to unwrap this beauty. Hopefully it's a beauty, I haven't actually seen it yet but I've got high hopes. It's almost, oh, this is gonna be good. Look at this. This reminds me of uh, my, my buddies and I used to have this tradition where we would make each other's gifts as hard to unwrap as possible. And like it starts out, oh, somebody's a smart ass, right? They wrap your gift in electrical tape and then to get them back, you go with duct tape, right? And then the next year you freeze their gift card into a giant block of ice and they come back at you with plaster and things just escalate. And by the fifth or sixth event, your birthday gift shows up and there are rules. One no welding to close it, and two, no power tools to open it. So that's what this reminds me of because we used to have like half inch plywood boxes, two layers glued shut with tripling foam in between and metal taped around the edges so that you couldn't just pry them open easily. And it would be a several hour occurrence trying to get through your three gifts from your three best friends because we were all jerks. Anyway. This was sent to me by a guy named Michael Perry. Presumably he is not a jerk because he sent me this kit and I already like him for it. Uh, he's done clearly a good job wrapping it, so hopefully there was no damage in the shipping process. We are about to find out. As I mentioned in yesterday's video, this is not, it's a guitar kit. Uh, it's handmade. He did it himself. Very excited to try it out. It is not your average guitar kit. One, because he made it himself and two, because there is lots left to do on it. This is not a, like he's capable of the full deal. He could have sent me a finished guitar if he wanted, but this gives me some opportunities to try stuff. And also that's kind of what he does. He makes guitar kits for people who are ready to undertake, you know, some of the, some of the more difficult work in order to make the guitar really their own. So there's a lot of stuff for me to do on this. It's going to be great for me to be able to do some demos on it. I'm very excited to give it, a, give it a look and get started on it after I get through my solo guitar kits. So depending on when this video was released, obviously, Hey, I might already be into this or I might be done by now. All right, I'm not gonna say anything about the stuff in here. We're just gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you what we're dealing with. Uh, and then what I'm gonna ask you to do, this is a prototype guitar. Uh, so Michael has told me, hey, it doesn't really have a name yet. Let's see if your viewers can give it one. So I'm gonna open this up, give me your suggestions and let's see what you guys come up with. Hopefully we can give this guy a name while we're at it. Oh, and one other thing that I forgot to mention, I know I said I wouldn't talk anymore once I open it really, I'm not gonna say anything about it. Like I said, you guys are gonna name it. This guy's got a quilted maple top. Like I said, it's all handmade, but what he's done is in order to keep the, the top uninterrupted for when I do the finishing work on it, it's routed from the back. So we've got active pickups going in from the back. They should be strong enough to pick up the string vibrations because they're, you know I'll keep the strings pretty low and they're active. And that way we're just gonna have a beautiful top with nothing coming through it. So I'm about to see this for the first time. You guys are about to see this for the first time. Let's get in there and check it out. All right guys, so that about covers that. 
Hopefully you're excited to see what I can do with this thing. I think it's going to be a bit more of a challenge than most of the guitar kits that I've worked on. So I'm excited to give it a shot and work on this quilted maple top and everything. Should be fun. Uh, I'm going to put Michael's information in the comment section below. So first of all, don't forget to comment if you've got a name for this thing. Let us know what it might be. That'd be cool. Next, if you have any feedback, comments, you want one of these, anything like that, get in touch with Michael through the information below and uh, yeah, chat with him. He's a nice guy. He's obviously, he sent me a guitar kit, right? How bad could he be? Uh, yeah, he's a good guy. I'm sure, well, I'm guessing that he'd be happy to receive feedback. If not, he'll probably tell you to leave me alone. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please find an excuse to give it a thumbs up if you don't mind. I would appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We should be getting to this guitar kit fairly soon after I'm done the ones from Solo that I'm working on right now. So stay tuned. Should be good. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.